Hey guys and welcome back to a new makeup look video. The look that I am doing today is more of my sort of event makeup, the sort of go-to products for my base, but then a red lip, which I don't do as often as I really, really should because I really love it, especially now I have the white grey hair. I think it looks really cool. So I'm on my way out now to an event, so I thought that I'd kind of bring you along and show you what I was doing on my face. It's a very sort of matte eye, lots of eyeliner and lashes, and a beautiful red lip using the new Kendall Jenner Estee Lauder colour which is beautiful. I'm not using it yet so I thought I'd use it today. That's everything so if you like this look then just keep watching. Okay I'm just going to start off by dousing my face with the Clinique Moisture Surge face spray. I'm so obsessed with that it's just like oh moisture. As always the million dollar moisturiser. So this routine is pretty much going to be my go-to event makeup. So if I'm going to like any events and things, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Strobe Cream. Either this or the Becca Shimmering Skin Enhancing Pearl. They both do practically the same job. I think today I'm gonna to go for the Lancome Miracle Air Detente, I don't know. Lancome foundations are always quite velvety when you put them on. I'm just gonna add this all over. Yeah, I'd highly recommend, if you're thinking of getting a Lancome foundation, I'd highly recommend either this one or just the Lancome Miracle de Tint. I'm going to say tint because I don't know how you say tint, 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 Okay, I have a lot of different concealers that I go to, which you'll have seen. It's usually either NARS Creamy Concealer, MAC Pro Longwear, or Kevin Aquan or the Clarins um, Instant Concealer, either one is brilliant. But I usually always use the MAC Prep and Prime, first of all, just in the triangles under the nose and right there, maybe up here too, why not, a bit light. I'll go for Clarins today and I'll just add like a dot to the outer corner, a dot to the inner corner drag it along here, a little bit on there, and everything else can go here. Okay, let's just work this in with the damp beauty blender. There are some days when my concealer doesn't quite look perfect, and it's usually when I've had a bad night's sleep, which I did last night, really bad night's sleep. So I'm just going to go in with the Bobbi Brown corrector in, in light peach, and just dabbing my beauty blender into that. Just going to go over the top in this very section here. That'll do. Okay, so on to powdering. Now, I usually use a different few different things. So I either use the Hourglass Ethereal Light, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, but at the moment I am still using the banana powder out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Just using the Louise Young LY48 brush. And then just using the Louise Young LY51 to start contouring as I usually do like to make my stripe and then go from there. Blending that upwards and outwards. And as always, the Essay Lauder Bronze Goddess with the Real Techniques powder brush. I just like to look really, really, really bronzed at all times, as you know. I'm just going to use the By Terry Bombed Rose Lip Balm. Now, just while I saw it on my desk. Okay, so similar to how a lot of my tutorials have been recently, using the Becca um, Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. I do want a very highlighted look for this. So I'm gonna go in heavy with this bad boy. Thinking it round underneath the eyebrow. And a bit over the eyebrow. Um, I really want to use my usual blusher, the Charlotte Tilbury, but I feel like that would be really dull. So instead, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try the Urban Decay Afterglow Powder Blush in Video. I'm going to go with the Tarte Tartlet Palette, because I think something matte with a red lip will look really cute. I'm just going to take a Real Techniques brush, and I'm going to use Super Mom with lighter shade. Just putting that on the inner corner. And then a third of the lid. I'm going to use my MAC 217 
with Force of Nature, this one right here, into the crease, of course. Like the line over the top. I'm not going to join it up, I'm just going to kind of leave it a bit of a sort of flick out and join over like that. And then I'm just going to take another fluffy brush and I'm just going to run Free Spirit and a bit of this Supermom over the rest of the lid. Just because I kind of want it to be really beigey and not much colour there. And then just taking the Sigma E40 and just going to take a little bit of Free Spirit and Supermom again just onto that here just to blur all of that out a bit. And for brows, I'm gonna use a mixture of the Iron Brown Maestro from Armani in number two, and also the Ila Masca Ore. You'll have seen me do my brows a thousand times, so I'll probably just skip past this. I do my brows in pretty much every other tutorial, so feel free to go to that if you like. I'm just gonna fix that in place with the HD brows. I need to use some liner. I'm going to use my fave, Tom Ford. Yes, it's pricey, but it's so good. I want to use, obviously, I'm going to use the Tanya Burr party. I'm going to use her new lashes. These are the Everyday Flutter lashes, and they're just little corner ones, you can see, pump up my own natural lashes because they're very straight. I'm going to use the Lancome Hypnose Doll Eyes Waterproof Mascara. Okay, so I've got like corner lashes applied, nice and fluttery, and all we have to do now is the lips. So I'm going to use the Illa Masca Pencil in Feisty. This is the Kendall Jenner Estee Lauder lipstick in Restless. And that is a finished look. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with makeup. I hope you like it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you recreate this look, make sure to tag me on Instagram at inthefro or on Twitter at inthefro. I'd love to see what you guys do too. And that's all I have for today. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe just down below. And if that's the case, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.